I was about nine, a bit younger. My dad tells me that we're driving to the country for the day. See, he's got this, this half share in this cafe at the time and it's doing really badly, so like, this was totally out of the blue. So I, I get in his van with him and I notice that in the front there's this, this bag of sharp knives and, and like, like a fuck off big meat cleaver. And I thought to myself, this is it. He's going to take me off and kill me. He's going to finish me off once and for all. And I sat there all the way to Wales. And I knew that day I was about to die. So I, we carry on driving and he pulls a van into this field and switches off the lights. And we just sit there in silence with all these cows around us, just watching us. Suddenly, Dad slams his foot on the brakes and rams this fucking great cow clean over the top of the van and it rips off the bonnet and makes a great dent in the side. See? We'd gone all the way to Wales to rustle us a cow for the calf. <laughs> now, a dead cow weighs half a ton, so you've got to cut it up there and then. I was so happy. I had tears in my eyes, and we just, we just sat there, sawing, ripping, chopping this cow to pieces. Then, when we were finished, we, we got back in the car and drove back to town, covered in blood. Take out the papers and the trash. Or you don't get no spending cash If you don't scrub that kitchen floor Well you ain't gonna rock and roll no more Yakety yak, don't talk back So um What do you think of my singing?